When you open Visual Studio 2010 Professional, you're presented with a start page that looks similar to the screen that you can see here. It's really the left-hand side of the start page that's really important. Here, this is where you can choose a new project, uh, select an open dialog box to browse for a previously saved project, or even quickly access the last 10 or so projects that you've created. Here I'm going to go New Project. Now I've already set the very, very first time when I installed Visual Studio, I selected Visual Basic as my main development environment. The default form here was Windows Form Application. This creates a graphical user interface kind of program. The other one you might uh, want to use on a regular basis as you're learning Visual Basic is the console application. But I'm just going to stick with the Windows Form application. I could give my project a name here, but I'm just going to leave it for the moment because I'll show you shortly how you can still make a final name change to your project later. Now by default you get a form control that appears in your project. This is where all your other controls like buttons, labels and text boxes and so on go into. Now on my left here I've got the toolbox. You might have yours hidden if I unpin it. You can see it's off to the side, hover over and it appears again. I'm just going to pin it there. If you don't have toolbox, go up to, at all, go up to the view menu and go down to toolbox. This is where you can also access the properties window and Solution Explorer. It's a combination of Toolbox, Properties and Solution Explorer that you'll use a lot. Now if I go over here, grab some controls, click and drag some and place on the form. Now to access the code for each of these controls, all you have to do is double click them. And what that does is bring up a form1.vb or code view of your form1. So all the code for button1 goes inside the sub-procedure code that Visual Studio has written for you. You want to go back to the design view, you just click the design view tab for form1. Now over here I've got Solution Explorer. Like Toolbox, this may be hidden, so you just need to pin it, or it, you may have to access from your View menu. This contains all the files for your project. If we go up here to the Project menu and go Add Windows Form, you can see I've been able to add a second form to my project, and it's shown here in Solution Explorer. If I click Show All, all Files, I can also see that Visual Studio has created a number of other files for me. Now when you're first starting out with Visual Basic, you don't need to manipulate or change any of these files. You certainly would never ever delete any of these files. Just leave them as is. You're really just focused on the files for Form 1 and Form 2 at this stage. The final one to consider is the Properties panel. If I go up to the Form 1 Design, Every time you click on a control, you can see the properties change slightly. This is where, say for a button, I can select the default words of the button. Whoops, I pressed the wrong punctuation. There we go. Uh, you can set the size of the font. Let's go from 8.25 to 25 and then go over here to resize the button. Now when you, when you want to save your project, uh, you should be periodically going control S on your keyboard or pressing the save icon. File save is the option as well if you like menus. Now that's like um, creating an autosave feature that we have in Microsoft Word for example. It's not actually saved to your hard drive yet. So to save to your hard drive, you go File, Save All, or press the little icon with multiple floppy disks. If you haven't saved your project at all to the hard disk yet, this Save Project dialog box appears. And you can see here, Windows Application 1, that was the name that I left when I first created the project. Um, it's the default name, not much use on its own. So what we do here is make sure that we give a name to our project. 
call up my project. It's this name that is not only the name of the project, but will be the name of a folder that gets saved by Visual Studio. It saves it into a Visual Studio 2010 folder that is created by default when you install the program. And inside that, there was another folder called Projects. And then inside this, I'm going to have another folder called My Project. Now, all of those files that were in Solution Explorer would get saved into the My Project folder. 